but let me just make this bigger. So it's a little bit easier to see. We're all going to be met by welcoming string. Now in a welcoming screen, we have a few options. We can open up a new file, open the folder. And as you can see, we can also customize this. Now, this is going to be the first time when you're actually downloading Visual Studio Code. Obviously, you're not going to have the recent projects. The only reason I do is because I had to reinstall the Visual Studio Code just so we can go through all the steps together. Now, I'm not going to spend tons of times right now on Visual Studio Code because I would like to get us up and running and actually create our first web page. I do want to show you, though, the general workspace. So let me close this first of all. And as you notice, these icons, right? So we have at the very top, this is where we're going to be working with our files. So as you notice, I'm opening this up and this is going to be the space where we're going to be doing most of our work. In fact, all of our work. And this would be our file structure. So whether there's going to be folders, files or images or anything like that, this is going to be within this tab over here within the sidebar. Now, next, we have a few other things, few other icons that we're not going to use right now. Let's say search throughout the documents. Then we also have for the source control, which would be Git, as well as debugging. Now, again, we're not going to cover them right now because we're not going to use them. However, there will going to be something useful, which is extensions, meaning with every text editor, you basically have capabilities of adding more features to a text editor. And we're going to do that actually in a second. But for now, just remember that these would be basically the extensions that you are, have available. So as you can see here, recommended. But for now, you shouldn't have any extensions installed if you obviously just downloaded the Visual Studio Code. Now, if you would like to search for extension, again, we can just type whatever extension we're looking for. And obviously, this is not going to come up with anything. But let's say we're going to say JavaScript. And this is going to bring me all kinds of extensions. Now, last but not least, regarding Visual Studio Code, something that will going to be important, especially later on, as we're going to be working a little more and more with Visual Studio Code, it's the settings. So if you click on this cog all the way in the bottom, notice it's going to give us settings. Now, settings allow us to customize the workspace. So let's say we want a bigger font size. So I could change this from 12 to, let's say, 22. If I would want a different tab size, again, we can just change this around. And what I'm trying to tell you is that as the more you're going to be working with your actual text editor, there's going to be times when you are changing your settings to adjust whether that's going to be an extension or just for your personal preferences. Now, also, the settings are, in fact, in a JSON object. So this would be a basically graphical interface, how we can work with the settings. Or if, let's say, I'm going to change the setting from font size, let's say I'm going to say that this is going to be 22. And once I make the change, the changes are going to be automatically saved. However, there's also an option for the JSON object. And within JSON object, notice something interesting. So now these would be my settings. As you notice, I changed it from whatever it was initially to, let's say, 22. So if I would want to add something else, I'm going to say, I don't know that this, the setting for the fonts is going to be something like 30. Now, in this case, I would need to save it. So I have a few options. Either I can go over here and just look for the file and check this out that I can obviously save it, or I would have to use the shortcut and that would be command and S. Again, if you're working on Windows, that probably would be control and S, but since this is a Mac, I'm just going to say that this would be command and S. Now, in my case, again, I'm going to delete this because I would like to come back to it within a few videos whenever we we're going to make our first web page already. But just to let you know that this is where the settings would be located for the Visual Studio Code. Okay, enough of me yapping. Let's start working on our first web page. Now, in order to do that, we will going to need a project. Now, in order to create a project, we just need to create a new folder. And this is obviously a Mac thing where, or I'm sorry, any operating system thing. It's nothing to do with Visual Studio Code or the actual web development, but we would need to create a new folder. Now, I'm going to be creating my folder, as you can see, in a desktop. But obviously, the same thing would work if you were going to go to your finder and, let's say, work in documents. I just find it much more straightforward if I'm going to be working with all my files and folders on a desktop. And like I said, I would like to create a new folder. And obviously, I would need to come up with some kind of name. So let's say that I'm just going to call this HTML. Now, you can call this however you would like. Bobby went to town or whatever. It doesn't really matter. 
So let me save this. And now I have to look at it, how we can get the folder. So the our working project to the Visual Studio code. So first of all, let me go back to the file. And as you can see, we have multiple options. So first of all, I can just click over here on open folder. And you know what? This settings is for now a little bit annoying. So let me just close this. And here I can click on it. And this is going to give me an option. So if I go to the desktop, I can just click it over here. And this will open up the folder in the actual Visual Studio code. Now, we also have an option of, as you notice, if I'm working with Visual Studio code, then I'm going to have this file tab. Now, within the file tab, notice again, we have either open recent or in general, we would have open. Now, again, this would work the same way. We click on open and this is going to direct me to the folder already because I obviously was just here a second ago. Now, last but not least, there's a very nifty feature where we can just drag and drop it. So if I'm going to grab this project that I have right now or folder or directory, call this whatever you would like and just drag and drop it here. And this is going to do the same thing where, as you can see right now, I have my folder available to me and I can start creating files and other folders maybe within this project folder and basically get up and running with my project. All right. All right. I have the folder, but how do we create our first web page? Now, first of all, let me just make this bigger again so we can see everything that's happening. Now, second, it's easy to see that everything is in very small fonts. And like I said, we will going to fix this later. But just to give you a tip, whenever you're working again with Visual Studio Code, you're going to have an option of zooming in. So as you can see right now, if I'm pressing command and plus or minus, I'm zooming in or I'm zooming out. Now, I'm going to zoom in so we can see really clearly what we're doing. But we are going to fix this in the next video and we're going to start working with our settings. Now, first and foremost, we're going to have to create a file. Now, again, we have a few options. As you notice here, we have a little icon. And when I'm hovering over it, it says that we can create a new file. Or there's another option where we just right click it on the sidebar. And again, we have multiple options. And what we're interested in is new file. Regardless, the result is going to be exactly the same that we can create a new file. Now I want to call my file, my first file, index.html. And both of these things are important. It's important to call this index as well as it is important to have this extension of HTML. Now the reason for HTML extension, because there's going to be different files. There's going to be maybe, not maybe, there's actually going to be CSS files later on. There's going to be some JavaScript files and all kinds of files. So this tells the browser of what type of file this is going to be. Now, second, the index is important because whenever you're going to download your project or upload your project to the server, this is going to be your home page. So if you're going to home page, this is going to be index HTML. If you're going to have an about page or contact me page, you'll name this however you'd like. But your home page will going to have to be index HTML. Now, on the right hand side, like I said, this would be the space where we're going to be doing all of our work, which would be our workspace. Now, since we know that HTML is made up of elements, let's create our first two elements. And again, we will cover them in bigger detail later on. 